Hey folks, it's Grim Wit from Natch Evil. With me today is Snippy, or Snippington, whichever you prefer. Say hello, Snip. Yes, hello. Hello, guys. And today's question is, and this is an honest question because uh, I, look, I looked this up and I was confused by it. What is the difference between Gaelic and Manx? Gaelic and Manx. Right. Is that right? Well, I've, I've got an answer for you because this is going to take about 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, okay. It's Gaelic. Gaelic literally translates to Irish. Gaelic in Irish is Irish. <laughs> By the way, it's out there. A literal translation is me is hungry. Um, but uh, in Manx is the language of the Isle of Man, which is a small, tiny, itty-bitty island in the middle of the British Isles. And basically, what happened was in the Gaelic Kingdoms, which was a long time ago, a lot of petty kingdoms, uh, they were like, let's expand our dawns to Isle of Man and bits of Scotland. And so you have Manx, which is based off of Irish, and Scottish Gaelic, not to be confused with uh, Scots or English. So and basically, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, no, so you're saying that there are three different, I thought there were two. There are three Gaelics, Gaelics, Manx, and Scottish Gaelic, which is Gaelic. in fact Scottish yeah. Irish. <laughs> yeah, they, no. No, it is different. It's a different word. It's not <laughs> Scottish Gaelic. As in, it's not Scottish Gaelic. It's Scottish Gaelic in Scotland. <laughs> so Gaelic would be Scottish, and Gaelic would be Irish. You know, but, but you know, the thing is, 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 is they're all basically they're similar, but they're not. And, Ach. Uh, Scots don't have to learn Scottish Gaelic. Irish fucking have to. <laughs> oh, you okay? You know what? It's the pain. It is the pain of everyone's existence. <laughs> well, I mean, how else are you gonna get that Scottish Irish uh, accent? Or I mean, that uh, Irish accent? Ah, hell, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, you're kind of born in Ireland. For <laughs> that, <laughs> or you spend a few years here and you pick it up. I don't know. <laughs> no, uh, I Okay, okay, so Manx, Manx is not Irish, I mean, not no. Gaelic, it's, it's Isle of Man Manx. Gaelic. It's, it's basically Isle of Man Gaelic because of the involvement of the Gaelic kingdoms. Basically, Manx is a version of Gaelic. Gaelic, sorry. But, uh... And then Scottish Gaelic. They have to say Scottish Gaelic because there's two different Scottish languages. It's Scottish Gaelic and Scots. <laughs> Scots. Sure, let's just get In... more confusing. Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad okay. I have my coffee today. That's just, that's, that's the tip of the iceberg. You know, let me explain some Irish to you. Okay, so you have police. And the word for police is guard. You know, simple enough. Okay. The plural for Garda is Gardi. Gardi. Okay. You know, that's fine. Uh, All right. You know, Dublin. Y you know Dublin. You know, the, the Viking city of Dublin. <laughs> Very Viking, sure. Where? Yeah. Um, it, its translation is Unclout. Unclout. Okay. That's how... On Clark. On Clark. Something like, I don't know. I don't speak <laughs> Irish. No one speaks Irish. I was reading... Um, it's in Linan, which is a very Irish-speaking population. They don't speak Irish. I, I was reading a book uh, earlier in the month, I'm pretty sure it was this month, called uh, The House on the Borderlands. Yes. And I don't know if you've even heard of this book. It's a very old... No. Okay, it's a very old, weird fiction, and it is really bizarre. In any case, um, the House in the Borderlands is a story that takes place in... I want to say the east coast of Ireland. Proper Ireland, not, not uh, Northern Ireland. And 
It is supposedly next to the last town that that only speaks Gaelic in Ireland. The last town that speaks Irish in Ireland. Uh, yes. The last Irish speaking Irish town. In like, Ireland. In Ireland. Well, that's not necessarily true because there are, uh, there are Irish zones and people still speak it in, you know, Linnard and places like that. He did places down in, in Cork and Killarney. Ooh, we have a phone call from Queenie. Let's see oh if boy. I can set this up so that we can all hear. Hi, Queenie. I'm talking to Snippy on Casual Truck. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were recording Casual Truck. It's alright. You getting foods? Huh? Are you fooding? I already fooded. You already fooded? Okay. So you're just bored. Yeah, I'm coming back from the bathroom. Oh, okay. That's quite a trek. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get back with the show. Okay, I love you. Sorry. <laughs> You were it's okay. How would you have known? I love you too. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Everybody get all that? So sweet. <laughs> she didn't know. I, have a, I should have I have warned a live her. person in my in, in my house right now. On my bed. Oh, is, are there people? I, I didn't realize there was population. I assume that everybody I talk to is a lonely man, even the women. No. No, man. <laughs> you are cloudly mistaken, my dingo. Fuck. Mm -hmm. If you ever get a chance to, do read uh, House in the Borderlands. It's not very Irish, even though it takes place it's in not, Ireland. It's not very accurate. Well, no, it's... It might have been accurate. It was written in, like, the 1880s, I want to say. Maybe the 1870s. Really? Oh. It's you know, an old book. Like yeah, it's it's public domain. I'll link you to it after the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Um, well, but it's... Well, let's see. But it's Go trippy. Ahead. It's really trippy. Yeah, yeah, I'd imagine an Irish book, yes. It's an English book about the Irish. Well, it's an English book oh. about an Englishman oh. in Ireland. Oh, the English coming here with their fancy books. <laughs> Stupid How, ass English. <laughs> Gutenberg fancy. That's fancy. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, no, my second language isn't Irish. It's Swedish. Now, are you Irish or Swedish? I... Uh, I'm a lot of things, and I don't know what... Okay. All right. Yeah. I, no, that's fine. I've well, got a lot I, I of ancestry too. I'm. I'm really neither. But I. Uh, I. Uh, I've been here as long as I wish to say. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I'm not. I'm not Irish, but yeah. I'm pretty sure there was a time when you were when I talked to you and you were in Louisiana or am I thinking no I'm thinking of Psy. Uh, I, I, I was in Texas. I was okay, in you Texas. Were in Texas. No, um, that that was purely for uh, for. I'm really glad that's over. <laughs> I don't like to say it's over. Eh. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. <clears throat> I, I actually, uh, I, I prefer Texas to friggin' Maryland. I do not like this state right here. And that's where you are? Yeah, I'm living in Maryland right now where, uh, yeah, people here aren't, aren't that nice. <laughs> that's not <laughs> terribly, same thing. that's not terribly fair, but the, uh, I guess every state's got to take it or leave it, because I used to live in Oklahoma, and with Oklahoma, everybody's nice, but they all secretly hate you. But not to your face. Yeah. I can imagine. I don't know, anyone, anyone, anytime anyone talks about Oklahoma and Texas, it was always rampant hate, so I didn't really experience that. Um, there are a couple of good places. I, my hometown of Stillwater was really awesome. You could get, you could go to a really well-produced 
professionally produced play, proper play, for 17 bucks. I can't do oh. that in Maryland. In Maryland, I have to pay like 50 to $75 just out the nose for bull crap. <clears throat> it's because it was uh, oh. Stillwater was next to a university. And they always made oh. sure they oh, yeah. did their best on there. Yeah, the university's here a little, a little snootier than OSU. I'm not real sure why. They're, they're not that much better as far as I've seen. I haven't gone to university yet. Eh, it's not for everyone. It wasn't for me. No, I mean, I'm going, but I haven't gone yet. How old are you? Uh, around 20. Oh, okay, you're still fine. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean... Your soul hasn't been crushed under the weight of the world yet. Aha, uh -huh, I'm gonna live in Sweden. I will never be crushed under the socialist utopia. I, uh, there was a. I'm not sure if this counts as socialism. You just reminded me there's a city in Canada that. or a town, I should say. A town in Canada that tried a social experiment. They paid everybody a set wage for living in the town. Just to see what would happen. Mm -hmm. You could yeah. work too, and, as, you know, as long as it wasn't through a company. I, I can't remember the whole experiment, but for the basis was, let's see what would happen if everybody got a set wage and see what they would do. But that would be communism then, yeah. Is that communism? Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I get but communism socialism, and socialism mixed up a lot. Socialism it, works. If, you, if you're not French, it works. Oh. <laughs> I had heard, but but does it work in theory? It seems to work in reality, but does it work in theory? That's the surprising thing. No, it doesn't work in theory, but it works in reality. <laughs> the opposite of everything that is proposed. You know, let's you know, let's take Sweden as an example. I mean, it's an amazing country. It's rich as hell, and I mean. And they're it's so not, not, humble. Yeah. That's the thing I love about the Swedish, their humility. Yeah, man. <laughs> Swedes are so humble. You know, last time I went to Sweden, everyone was telling me about how humble they were. Sometimes they I lay awake so in bed, staring at the ceiling, trying to ponder how humble even I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Swedes are... Swedes, are, in truth, are... Um, they just keep to themselves, to be honest. Sweden, Sweden gets a bad rap. For some reason, everyone on 4chan and the internet in general hates Sweden because they have no idea what Sweden is, and so they're afraid of it. Yes. What? How do yeah. you generalize like that? That would Because I know there are Swedes on 4chan. Are you saying that there are Swedes who don't know what Sweden is and so hate their country that they live in? All I know is people who aren't Swedes. All I know people is they shut Swedes. down. Uh, what? Oh, go on, go on, go on. Sorry. People who aren't Swedes usually tend to get all their information from American resources, and so it's not very trustworthy. That doesn't make any sense. We don't hate Sweden. We hate the Middle East. You don't hate a lot of things, but it turns into hate. No, no, nope, not gonna try to logically digest that one. <laughs> so why no, no, Ireland? Yeah. If you if you love Sweden, why why are you in Ireland? If you I don't mind know. me asking in public like this. In public, how dare you, <laughs> scoundrel! <laughs> so why are you in Ireland? Uh, family. Oh, okay. No, that's cool. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I'm going to move to Sweden. Not. In a year, actually, in a year. Oh, you got it all but planned we're out. Not, yeah, we're, we're not here to talk about my personal life. We're here to talk about whatever we were talking about. The Irish, I guess. Uh, Gaelic specifically. Irish. Actually, I'm, Gaelic specifically. <laughs> yeah. I, I uh, can just say Irish. I don't know. See, I, I do draw a distinction between Irish and Gaelic. 
and they're the same thing. Even though they're the same thing. Okay. I'm American. I can do this. Sense. We split hairs <laughs> all the time. Oh, don't worry about it. A Danish comic book artist did it and did it worse than you. <laughs> I want to be oh, a comic God. book artist. Actually, I am part Irish on my mom's side, which doesn't show because I'm more Mexican than Irish. But if you ever seen my sister, she's got uh, brown red hair. Like, it, especially when she gets angry, her her green eyes turn black. It's real funny. I I tried it a lot as a kid. So I I know nothing of my semi native tongue. I, I'm many things. I'm I've got Irish, English, Mexican, which means Aztec, Spanish. I know there's a little French in there, and my left, the left tip of my pinky, no, the pinky, uh, the tip of my pinky on my left hand is Cherokee. Just say your left nipple. My we left nipple is it. Cherokee. It spews forth know. the man milk of the Cherokee pride. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> I was uh, told when I was going through college to try and get help from nationalities, like mm -hmm. to try and get help from uh, uh, to, to pay for school. And I'm like, who do I go to? I'm everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, they no. don't allow you to go to more than one. I'm like, do I really want to claim myself as Hispanic? I, I mean, that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying being Hispanic is bad. I'm being. I'm saying that why Hispanic? Why not Irish? Why not English? Why not French? Why not Cherokee? And it just it bugged me, so I went with none of them. How do you know everything that you are? That my, scares me. Um, because my mom's. Well, first off, our family. I am something like eighth or ninth generation American, so I can track my family to the Polks, which one of them became president. I don't think I'm his descendant, though. Um, <laughs> so the more American you are, the more you know about what you once were. Yeah, well, when you when you go back that far, you keep track. Okay. You think you think Americans are bad though, man? Talk to a Japanese guy about his lineage. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> he, he can tell you his name, what the guy did, what he had for breakfast on Sundays. Rice. It was rice. <laughs> it's always rice. <laughs> uh, I, I don't even know. I could possibly be Dutch. Possibly be Welsh. Uh. Uh. She's. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. God, I'm glad I got my coffee before I started talking to you. <laughs> I don't I'm know. I'm tired and I'm blonde, trying to keep up. Blue eyes. <sighs> blonde and blue eyes? Wait oh, a second. Wait. That's not the picture I drew that of you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I tried to tell you. <laughs> like, that picture's completely wrong. I don't have red skin and horns. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I like it, you telling me something, Grim. <laughs> I love the people who tell. I spent, well, it's mostly Jet. I love the people who tell me like, "Oh, you, that wouldn't happen." Whenever I draw it in my comic, and they're like, "What wouldn't happen? The, the whole soul of a serial killer in, invading people and traveling through souls and souls and people cutting off heads with toilet paper. Like, which part are you having a problem with?" <sighs> eh. I can believe that someone can go and be half dragon and can go off and shout at things to make them fly away, but I will not, will not believe that wyverns are dragons. <laughs> or, uh, I think, what was, what was one of them? It was about an anime, and it was like, um, the, okay, 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 I got it. Uh, have you seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Because I started watching No. Alright, in JoJo's B Bizarre Adventure, uh, the anime, they don't fix facts. They do not fact check. And the guy who wrote it knew nothing about what was going on in Eaglen in 1888. So it's 
hilarious. They're playing football, <laughs> not rugby. Like, it's that kind of bad. And so it was like, wait a second. Wait, there was one. Wait a second. That's, that's not right. The English didn't do that. Oh, but they did fire, you know, have fire running through their arms as they punched people? That, that's all right? <laughs> oh, man. I say, good man, would you like to play some rugby baseball with me? <laughs> rugby baseball? Thank you kindly, sir. For hey, love! Look, there's some Irish folk. <laughs> I gotta start hey, wrapping kindly, this up. Irish folk. We love you. <laughs> that's, that sounds like a Texan. We love you. <laughs> Remember the Alamo and the Irish. Yeah. All right, I gotta wrap this up because I just finished. Boop, All boop, right. Boop, boop, boop. I made eight thousand pounds from. And I made a fool of myself. <laughs> That's what casual trucks all about. You know, you just gotta relax, have some coffee. You wanna know what kind of coffee I'm drinking? White coffee. Yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> just white. It's just. All it said on the cover is white coffee. Didn't say where the bean came from. Didn't say what the company was. It was a plain white package with white written in green, on, oddly. <laughs> anyway. America. Because America. All right. Well, uh, we're going to go ahead and call it a video here. Uh, say goodnight, Snips. Good night. And I'll see everyone else later. Hey, do you have Skype? Want to be on the show? Want to know where the antidote is? Shoot a message to natchevil at gmail.com and include truck in the subject so I know it's from you. And thanks for watching.